Hello and good morning. Did you know that some people celebrate Christmas in January? Eastern Orthodox Christmas is celebrated January 7th today in countries such as Russia, Ukraine, Israel, Egypt, Bulgaria, and many others. After news and announcements, we have an interview with Ms. Butenko, a teacher from ESM who celebrates the holiday. Everyone's favorite red puppet Elmo from the kids' show Sesame Street has viral videos of him and his old friend Zoe arguing about Zoe's pet rock, Rocco, after Elmo tries to take Rocco's cookie and is denied by Zoe, stating such thing as Rocco's just a rock. Live after the clip goes viral, Elmo tweets, Don't worry, everybody. Elmo and Zoe practice sharing and are still the best buds forever. Elmo still lo loves you, Zoe. But he doesn't end the sentence with Elmo doesn't want to talk about Rocco. With a follow up tweet saying, Has anyone seen a Rocco cookie? Elmo is just curious. New York will establish a $200 fund to support social equity applicants seeking adult use cannabis business license. Government Kathy Hochul announced Wednesday during her State of the State, of the State address in Albany. The funding mechanism is modeled based on licensing fees and taxes. Amber Littlejohn, executive director of the Minority Cannabis Business Association, said she supports the idea but questioned what it would do to the timeline for social equity applicants entering the newly formed market. If seed funding comes from licensing fees and taxes, Littlejohn said, that likely means money won't be available to those applicants until the adult use market is already up and running. She questioned where private funding will come from and whether those ent entities pouring in money might receive a head start in the marketplace. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Football players in grades 9 through 11 Winter skill workouts begin on Monday, January 10th from 7 to 9 p.m. See Coach Eschbacher if you have any questions. Something Better is proud to present Find Your Ally, Tell Your Story, an, an afternoon of creative expression and storytelling with old friends and new. Join us after school on Tuesday, Janu January 11th in B43 to sculpt Play-Doh, finger paint, share stories, poetry, and enjoy a chill environment with people you can trust. Congratulations to all of those who auditioned and received a part in the musical Grease. The cast list is posted online and on the Spartan Stage Bulletin Board in the Music Wing. Your first rehearsal is today in the auditorium after school. The Herf Jones representative will be here Wednesday, January 19th during lunches to take orders for caps and gowns. Deadline to order is January 31st. Please see Miss, Miss Recor in the welcome booth if you have any questions or need, to, or need the graduation packet. Seniors, in order to ensure that your senior picture and quote are correct for the yearbook, you must stop by the, senior, the yearbook room in D14, look at your picture, name spelling, and quote, and sign off that it is correct. This must be done by the end of school on Monday, January 10th. After this date, the pages will have been submitted for publication and, you can, and cannot be changed. If you have any questions, see Mrs. Welch, Mrs. Baker, or Mr. Stalik. My name is Sofika Butenko. I'm a first generation Ukrainian. Both of my parents were born in Ukraine and they came over in their early teens. Um, the main difference is the fact that we celebrate it in January. We still follow the Julian calendar. Christmas Eve is January 6th and Christmas Day is January 7th. Um, there are also other differences with the traditions in that we don't have, we traditionally don't have a Christmas tree and we have what's called a diduk, and what it is, it's a sheath of grain, and it's much bigger than this. It's usually as big as a Christmas tree, and it's brought in uh, the night, the eve, Christmas Eve, and it's put in the corner of the room where it's put near the, uh, the icons, because most of the Ukrainian houses have icons, and it's supposed to be the last sheath of grain from that harvest, and it's supposed to symbolize um, fortune and a good harvest for the following year, and uh, family well-being, peace, and harmony. Part of the other traditions is that we have 12 dishes that represent the 12 apostles, and that there's always an extra setting at the table for those uh, people who have uh, passed away. And that um, the, main, the first dish is called the kucha. It's made out of poppy seed, honey, and buckwheat. And traditionally, the head of household would walk around the house and throw spoonfuls of it to, up to the roof. And the more kucha that sticks to the roof, that would symbolize the more luck 
that the family would have the following years. Christmas Eve dinner is meatless and also non-dairy. Um, all the meats and dairy products that you would want to eat for Christmas Eve, uh, we eat for breakfast the following morning. Have a high of 27 and a low of 14. Tomorrow we will have a high of 29 and a low of 24 and Sunday we will have a high of 41 and a low of 21. I'm Abby with your weather. December 19th on the old calendar is St. Nick's Day, which is actually a little bit more celebrated than Christmas Eve. That's when the kids usually get more of their presents. We don't have Santa Claus. Um, St. Nicholas comes on December 19th. On the new calendar, St. Nick's Day is December 6th. Uh, so on December 19th, uh, the kids, they expect to have presents at the foot of their bed. And um, so that's a little bit different than what the Americans celebrate. And on Christmas Eve, the angels bring gifts and uh, we normally uh, open presents on Christmas Eve. Carol of the Bells is really not a Christmas carol. It is a Ukrainian folk song and it was written in 1919. Uh, a composer um, was approached, but they needed something to uplift the, the spirits of the Ukrainian people because right, it was at World War One. it was at the end of World War One, and Ukraine was torn between the, you know, with what happened with, with the war. And so he wrote this song and it was supposed to be the coming of the new year. So it's actually meant for March. And it's about a bird, a little swallow who fl that flies into a, a home. And it's a bird and he's actually singing uh, good wishes to the head of household and saying you're going to have a good harvest. It's supposed to uplift the spirits of the people. Uh, so shtedrik means bountiful, it means uh, generous. So it's a, it's a wish for a generous and a bountiful harvest. And then in 1936, a Ukrainian descendant composer musician took that song and turned it into a Christmas carol that we know today. And there's a lot of symbolism, yeah. <laughs> um, not only with the flowers, but also with the colors. Depending on the region that one is from, uh, uses the separate different colors. For example, the Northwestern region is mostly, there's some mountains there, so the colors that they had were mostly green and brown and orange. When you travel further east um, and towards more of the bigger cities, the red and the black, um, and the white have are more prominent, so you can tell where someone is from depending on the color of the of the thread that they use. Last night, the girls' volleyball team beat Camden three to nothing. The New York Knicks beat the Boston Celtics one hundred eight to one hundred five after an RJ bu RJ Barrett buzzer beater. The Knicks were down sixteen points at half. Evan Fournier led the team with 41 points. The Syracuse women's basketball team lost 95 to 71 against Boston College. The team was led by Tisha Hyman with 17 points. Today's ice hockey game against Saratoga Springs High has been canceled tonight. Boys basketball has been postponed against Oswego. Tomorrow, the girls volleyball team plays at a tournament at Mark, Mar Mount Markham at 8.30. Boys and girls track has a meet at three at SRC Arena. And ice hockey plays at CBA at 4.45 tomorrow. And I'm Tanner with your sports. Thank you all so much for watching. Everyone here at Spartan News wishes you a wonderful weekend.